and you will enjoy every sip of it all the way through it ice quality. I think if you had let him go, he'd have talked to I think he would. Yeah, he would have yeah, yeah, himself no, into no, a I don't like this whiskey, but it's a five. No. What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. hey guys. guys. It is Scotch for Dummies. For guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. Where did we journey to? Wait a minute. You are on a Scotch purchase. Scotch? Yeah. Not. Oh. Not scotch today. Could be what Irish. Is this this could be Irish. A little. Irish. Everything's off today. <laughs> <laughs> the locale and everything. Right. So what are we drinking? Actually, we're drinking Blue Spot. Finally, Blue gentlemen. Spot. Finally. Blue Spot. Uh, finally. These are easy to get, aren't they? Super easy. <laughs> We've been hunting <laughs> for this for easy. a while, but this is finally at You're our gonna fingertips. Pour me first. I do believe Sean said it was hundred and ten dollars if you can find it. What's the price point if you can't? Like three fifty. <laughs> I, I even saw one online for fifteen hundred bucks. So yeah, that seems silly, which is stupid. Yeah, but stupid. if you can find it, it's it's a little over a hundred bucks. It's it's a reasonably priced whiskey. But now, how long has it been out? I guess because we've been looking for this for a while. Actually, the only reason we're able to even get this is because of where we are. The chop house got a bottle, right? right. So, so we're at the chop house doing a review. The chop house has a bottle, um, but it's still hard to find. Yes, it is. Um, there are three other ones out there that aren't quite as hard to find. I think the red spot is still pretty hard to find. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yellow spot and green spot are fairly right. ubiquitous. You like you them. can find those yep. on liquor store shelves mm -hmm. and at a lot of restaurants. Blue spot, red spot, not as much. I have yet to try red spot. Um, blue spot, I think you can find it. It, it comes and goes. It's in, a, it's in batches from okay. what I understand. So when it comes in, you get one or you pay. <laughs> so one thing I learned about it when we first got here, looking at the bottle, because I honestly, this is the first time I ever got my hands on a bottle, it's cast strength. There's mm -hmm. not a non-cast strength version. This is it. That's it. Okay, 58.7. Oh, really? That's, That's pretty good. I, I'm anxious to see what this Irish is. So what like. was the yellow spot we did not too long ago? Was it, it wasn't cast strength, right? No, it's no, not. No, it, I don't not. Think it was delicious. Cast strength. So the, what, the green spot is five year? No. Well, I, I know the age is from what they're supposed to be, what they okay. marked in the old days. Where are okay. they even naming in the spots come from? Yeah, the old okay. distillery used to put oh, spots right. on their casks. Yes, that's right. And the red spot uh, signified 15 years old, yellow spot was 12, 12, 12. green spot was 10, and blue spot was yeah. 7. So this is actually the youngest. And it's the most sought after. Well, it's well, only one, been out one a year, year and a half. Yeah, it may, it may be a limited release. Maybe it's just hard to get, I guess. I think it is, I, and it's and especially if it's back. So speaking of casks, what's the deal with the casket? Oh yeah, so three different types of um, oh, no. maturations coming into this at seven mm -hmm. years. It's uh, ex-bourbon, um, sh uh, sherry butts, and uh, Portuguese Madeira. Now they oh. don't tell you how they're getting to that ratio or what that ratio is, right? Did it sit for two years in the bourbon then they moved it in the sherry for three and then two, they oh, don't- it's finished. Don't, we, we, we don't know. Oh, okay. It just says there's three different casking, caskings. Okay. So it could be um, liquid sat in seven years of each of those barrels and they brought them together or they it went from one to the other. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Um, they could have just wheeled it by the Madeira casks on the way to the <laughs> bottle. Right? I just it's touch it, it for a second. That's right. how you do it. It, does, you say, it does say triple It'll distilled. Sprinkle. So right. um, let's get into this though. So I honestly, I, I it doesn't say natural color. I have to assume it's natural okay. color. At 58, non-chill filtered, okay. I do get that, but I got to assume this is natural it, it color. Does, there's, I think it, there's natural color. It's got a, I'm sorry there. There's a muskiness to it. Yeah, to the nosing. Oh yeah, let's do it. To the nose. All right, so I'm getting oh. like uh, purple, I mean purple grapes or, <clears throat> wow. I thought I got chocolate earlier, like a, a dark chocolate. Oh, I'm getting like a, like a creamy, like, um, oh, what are, like a nut, like a wafer, like the chocolate wafers. Remember those chocolate, well, not vanilla oh, wafer, wafer, but cookies? chocolate wafer. Cookies. Yeah, like a nutty That's bar, but don't have peanut butter. <laughs> well, yeah, but they're just, they're basically the chocolate wafers with a yeah. chocolate pudding in the middle, whatever. Pleasantly yeah. surprised. Honestly, this smells probably like the most rich Irish I've ever smelled. Mm. I just like Irish Newtons, whiskey. Because it's, it's got weird. like some dried That's fruit, sherry, like right? some yeah. real dried fruits in there. There is, there's, there's a lot more meat and richness in this. Uh, yeah, this is it's, not a It's light. not, if you just poured this for me and told me to have a sip and didn't tell me what it was, 
I'd have a hard time picking this out as an Irish just on the Never. nose. Never. Exactly. No way. Exactly. No, it's got. Uh, it's got. I, I, I disagree. I think it's got hints of Irish to me, but it's but it's definitely. I guess you're, to your point, just the richness factor of it, it does throw you off a little bit. Oh, the, barrel, oh. the barreling. <laughs> How are you doing? At fifty-eight-seven, I don't think it's harsh on the nose. Oh man, did you try that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, oh. hello, Miller. It's it's like Christmas cake in a glass. Yes. It's got fruits and there's like sugary cake kind of things going on. There's a little bit of icing in there. Almost confetti. Like raisins. Yeah. Wow. That, that is a really unique, like most Irishes that I've had, Irish whiskeys I've had are ne <laughs> not nearly this rich and complex. No, I, I think the barrels here are what gives it sherry everything. And I mean, trouble yeah. distilled, you wouldn't get this kind of flavor. But you put them in the right barrels, the sherry and the wine. I think oh. the, the fact that you start with an Irish that's got, a, a, I don't want to say a, a blank slate of a palate, but it's a much lighter, more distilled Refined. version of a whiskey. Mm -hmm. And then I think it lets it soak up a little bit more of the flavor of the casks yeah. and, and lets them play and interact in a different way. It's, it's really nice. Yes, and it, there's a creaminess to it. You've got, the sherry has an influence, the sweetness from the, the Madeira. Um, well, you know, all, all Irish whiskeys are smooth, so. Oh, oh, you didn't use that <laughs> word, did you? Damn. I would say this is, honestly, I don't think it's this smooth. I think it's a little edgy. Honestly, it's, it's, it's seven, it's but it's hot. That's right. the problem. That's what's giving it. It's kind of I put some edges. water on. I think that's going to help a lot. But this, this is, like <laughs> this is definitely a, a benefit <laughs> of that extra maturation and that yeah. sherry in the Portuguese. So, like this, this is this is almost like blending a, a normal Irish and getting some sherryness. I mean, it's what it is, right? I mean, it's not normal, but it's it's unique in that regard. So. Honestly, I can't remember the price points of the green and the yellow. We've honest, we've we've had green's those. pretty reasonable. I want to say it's like 40, 50 bucks. Most all of them are not like horribly priced. The yellow is around, I want to say in like the 80s, 90s. This one's a little bit more expensive. I'm assuming from the casks um, mm -hmm. that they're using. I don't know about the red spot. I'm not sure about that one. I might have to. See, I'm getting, I'm getting a little more. Of course, I added water, a couple um, straws of water. It didn't tame down the heat, but I'm getting more like of the, sure. the, uh, the graham cracker from the Fig Newton kind of flavor. Really? So the more graham. Totally. Yeah. Yep. See, totally. I'm getting that ex bourbon cat, that oak. Uh, mm. that, it's getting sweet. Oh, it's spicier now than it was with water on. It's opened up quite a bit, actually. And so it pulled down some of the dried fruit. I honestly just got, I got a lot more sugar, uh, confectionery sugar, uh, powdered sugar, um, <laughs> sweetness. Wow. That was like, um, like the spice factor kind of really came up a little bit on the palate for that sip. That's crazy. I don't get that. I'm going to let it drop a little bit and, and see how it adjusts, but it was almost like a Pop Rocks white pepper flavor. <laughs> yeah. It's, this has no problem with water. I'm whatsoever. getting more cinnamon. Yeah. There's it's definitely spicier with the water than it opened up. Um, graham crackers, though, that's a great pull. That's exactly what I'm getting, even on the palate, mm. too. Mm -hmm. Really? It definitely handles the water. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I watered the heck out of it, too. I, I kept going. I just want to say, at 58.7, I'm like, I can't, how can I do, how can I mess this up? Yep. I took it a long way, and it took the edge off, that that young edge, that, and it's, it's, <laughs> Softer. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really interesting bottle. This is kind of unique. Now I'm getting some more black tea coming into this thing. Uh huh. I'm getting all sorts of sherry on it. Almost now. a hint of licorice too in the finish. Yeah. Maybe yeah, dried tobacco. Palette, just the very back finish. Yep. Are we gonna Are we gonna give a number for this? It's not. Yeah, it's I think not so. Why not? Why not? I don't know why not. I mean, I don't remember. I have no idea what we graded green or yellow. Um, we grade. We did grade it though. I think. So what, what, what was the prices again? Buck 10. If you can find if it. If you can find it. Right. Now, I'll be honest with you. Bucks. I'll start talking my way through this. I'm not ready to put a score on it yet. But at $110, I got to think a seven-year-old. I'm like, gosh, dang, that's that's really salty, right? Don't that's pricey. Price. So, but I also got to weigh in. There's a lot of whiskey in this. This is 58.7% ABV. There's yeah. some, this, and it, that, that allows, well, it allows <laughs> me to do what I want when I'm drinking it. I can, I can mess with this. I can, you know. Play with it for a while, see what I come up with. Wow. <laughs> How about water that? on this, guys, is really, really good. Holy mountain. I mean, That's, it almost yeah. needs water. 
I think you're right. I think that helps the age, edginess, as well as the high ABV. I honestly thought oh, neat was, was really good. Like I could have drank it neat. The first time I put water on it, it was a little too spicy, but luckily it's like almost 60%. So you can put some more on there. And the second time it had kind of mellowed out a little bit, the spiciness factor came down. I got some black tea, some of the sweetness came back. Keep going. Um, yeah. I'm kind of waiting on this third round of water because I, I mean, even, even on two rounds of water, it still tasted hot. There was plenty of room to put a little more water on there. Um, I mean, I think you can really dial it in the way you want it. This is one of those drams you can pour, let sit for 30 minutes, come back to it, yeah. and it's gonna open so, up just some time. Right. Like really spend some time with it. But I'm thinking to, to the people that I know that are Irish drinkers, right? I, my my brother-in-law, he loves Irish yeah. whiskey. But I think about him sitting here enjoying this, Right off the bat, he's going to have a handful of ice on that. How would that affect this? How so, would that do? So what, I will tell you, the first person to have a dram of this, can you guess who it was? Your dad. <laughs> as soon as he found out that I had it on the shelf, he was on his way down. Of course. Uh, and he had he had an ice ball with it. And so it didn't it might be pretty good like overwater it. Um, and he let it sit for a minute because he, he usually doesn't drink cask strength stuff. And so that's not really his wheelhouse, but it was nice because it it really let him get into it and it slowly watered mm -hmm. it as he drank it. And and I think it was just like, he loved it. He thought it was a great experience. It was a really a interesting good movie. glass of whiskey. So It can handle it. We know that. For sure. Yep. Well, I would say I was like three quarters of the way through my review. And now that I've done the water, I guess I'll, I'll just finish, finish that. Finish How about that? Roger that. So third time putting water on it's it, on the there. sweetness kind of came back out. It, it kind of rounded off the edges. I'm probably still in the high 40s. I mean, it's still got a ways to go if I wanted to. Um, the thing that I am most impressed with with this bottle, yes, it's seven years old, but it handled that water. Like there was at no point where I was like, ah, oh, it killed the whiskey no. and there's no nothing left for me to like, it handled it. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much flavor and depth and character in this whiskey. It's it's really pretty impressive. Um, I think for 110 bucks, I mean, regardless of whether it's seven years or not, it's got a lot of stuff going on. You've got the sherry, you've got the Madeira cast, which which gives it a, a little bit of a different kind of flavor profile. Um, I, I personally think that the 110 bucks is justified for this. Uh, and it's it's unique enough that I think I'm gonna, I'm going to go a three five. I, I really mm -hmm. think that it's like I have zero problems with this whiskey at all. It's borderline four, honestly. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to drink ooh. this little half a dram, and we'll see if I decide to alter that any. What you got? I'm not ready yet. I'm stuck between two numbers. Drew, I know you got. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Go. Um, this is a four right out of the gate for me. Whoa! Um, let's, let me tell you why. I think um, as a Scotch lover, I really. I, I, we actually had this conversation not too long ago, like what's my favorite? Well, I'm trying to get into bourbons, other things, but other than scotch, what would I go to? And I think Irish whiskey is actually my secondary choice. And what I love about mm -hmm. this, this is almost like that perfect blend between Irish and scotch. Like mm -hmm. you get that maturation process that you get some extra flavors, but there's still a little hint of Irish in there that I'm looking for that triple distill. And I tell you what, from the fact, from neat, I liked it. I had four times now with water and it's still opening up and you can hold it just fine. I'm getting English toffee now that I didn't have before. Yeah. It's evolving, it's changing. And that is huge for me. If I can go something from neat to like even four times the water, I can see honestly, the ice ball other than being cold, I think it would be perfect because it's like a, a gradual water process. Change, yeah. And you can just sip it like, oh, there's something else. Oh, there's something else. So the fact that this is dynamic and it can open up and change that much, is really cool. I, now, 110 bucks, 110 dollars in seven year, whatever. If you can find it, 100 buy this model. <laughs> right, a four for me for sure. This is delicious. Really good. Okay, I don't like it as much as you do. I think uh -oh. it's great. Uh -oh. and, and, and let me tell you why. I, you got you guys' points are right. The flavors you have are all through there. The problem I have is when I water this, I lose what I like most about this whiskey. Hmm. So I really like those heavy fruits and dried fruits that come through on as it's neat. And it's fantastic. Now I will admit that as you add the water, it doesn't go bad. It just changes <laughs> to a different flavor profile. No, it's gone bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's where, this is a good whiskey. It's not, it, you know, all your points about the, the ability for this whiskey to continue to change and not 
not degrade with water, it just changes with water. Um, them up. <laughs> so I'm between a three and a three five. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, so I, I may, may go up to the three five back. <laughs> because it, it does have, have some great flexibility with whiskey tasting. I think this would be good with that rock, but I would, it have to be a smoke. I'm challenging you here. It's like, you started off this whole thing with, you, did, you didn't appreciate as much as I do, but you talked yourself into it because of the diversity of what you're talking about. It, you're right. It's the diversity of this is the only thing it's, it's even close to a 35. Um, because I like it neat. I like the, the richness, the, the syrupiness. And as you add the water, it becomes more one dimensional to me. So that's where I'm going to go. I'll go with a 3.5 because it is a great whiskey and you will enjoy every <laughs> sip of it all the way through an ice ball. Even. So I think if you had let him go, he would talk himself into a 5. I don't like so, this whiskey, but it's a 5. No, so my, my initial thought was a 3.5. As, as I added water, I was starting to come down a little bit, but ultimately it never, it never went, it never fell below a three. I, actually, that says a lot, people. Thing. That says a lot. I, I will it. actually agree with you because it, it did lose some of that fruity, mm -hmm. uh, those dried fruits that I really liked on the yeah. initial palate. Um, and, and on the third water, I'm starting to get some of the sweetness back, but not necessarily the fruit. So no, I, I'm, I'm with you. Mark. Okay. All okay. right. So when, when I said I wasn't quite ready, I was stuck between a three and a three five. And I've listened to all three of these guys and I respect every, what, what all of them are saying. <laughs> I, I agree with all of them are saying. And then in my mind, I'm starting to think, first of all, I don't know if I would enjoy it with with an ice ball. I, I just don't drink my whiskey that way anymore. I'm not saying it's wrong or bad. It's just not, I really don't find it so many good things. for me. So many things. No, I'm letting it go. go. I, I mean, I used to drink it with tons of ice, right? Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I'm thinking about those that do, and I know this would stand up there. I know if they're enjoying any other Irish whiskey, they will enjoy this with, uh, with ice because this is going to handle it. Um, and then I start thinking, you know what? I've got a lot of familiarity with Red Breast 12 cast strength. Mm -hmm. yep. Love that one. My <clears throat> wife loves Red Breast 12. I bought her the cast strength. She didn't like the cast strength, so I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> this stands up to that every day. This goes toe to toe with the 12 yeah, as a Red Breast 12. It really does. I honestly think if you pour both those bottles right here, I probably am pouring this over that. I really am. Um, and I'm shocked because this is a seven year old. Price point, yeah, she's a little salty. Okay, I'll get over that. So I talked myself up but while you guys were talking, I was stuck between a three and a three five, and you go, and now I'm stuck between a three five and a four, then you go, and I'm like, you know what? I'm staying right at my three five. That's perfect. That's where I, that's where I was coming in anyway. Or group thing. Seems fair. No, this is really a, a very well put together bottle. I can understand why it's hard to get right now, but I can promise you this, I'll, I'll get one. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is a fantastic bottle. So let's go around the horn. You did three, five, four, three, five, three, five, three there you go. point six, two, five. This, really, right. this is a good bottle. You know what? It, it was worth the wait, guys. Yep. It really was. It's and delicious. Just, it's a fantastic bottle. So thanks for watching. Hit the like, hey, comment cheers. below if you've had this bottle before, and we'll see you next time. Yep. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Three, two, one. Here we go.